Good morning. My name is Ellery Buchanan, the President and CEO of Fiberio Technology Corporation. We're located in Edinburgh, Texas, the home of the University of Texas Pan American, uh, next door to McAllen, Texas, which is the sixth fastest growing city in the United States. Our company uh, manufactures and sells equipment and licenses the processes for the production of nanofibers in volume cost effectively. We're addressing two major market needs. We're addressing versatility, the ability to make nanofibers out of a wide array of materials, and we're addressing cost in that our process costs about a quarter of the cost of the current methodologies used. We expect our first revenue in the third quarter of this year. We are through the prototype phase. We've proved uh, nanofibers can be produced with about 15 different materials, develop those processes. We have uh, eight patents pending with 26 some independent claims. We have been awarded 1.5 million from the Emerging Technology Fund in round 18, and we're here today looking for private equity investment of another million and a half dollars. What is a nanofiber and why should you care? On the right hand side of this is a uh, picture of a human hair, 52 microns wide. Behind that are nanofibers. Uh, these particular nanofibers are about 300 nanometer scale. Uh, the importance of nanofibers, they increase the surface area of whatever uh, material they're made from, and it also changes the physical and mechanical and electrical properties of that material. So increased tensile strength, uh, conductivity, insulating capability of the various materials you're working with. Um, they are being used in a number of different industries now. Uh, perhaps uh, most obvious, their uh, nanofibers are currently being used in filtration, both air and liquid filtration systems. Um, there's a wide uh, applicability of nanofibers in the uh, healthcare industry. Some examples, um, infusing silver nanoparticles into wound dressings for antimicrobial applications, um, tissue regeneration, drug delivery, many, many different applications there. Uh, another example is in catalytics, making uh, nanofibers from ceramics for uh, catalytic filters to uh, cut down on emissions. The current state of the art uh, of what, how nanofibers are produced is electrospinning. Uh, electrospinning was uh, initially patented in the early 1900s, has been developed. Essentially though what's happening is materials being forced through a syringe, it's being hit literally by a, a lightning bolt of uh, electricity, uh, up to 180,000 volts, to blast that material into nanofibers. We take a uh, simpler, more direct approach in that we're using centrifugal force. Uh, we call the technology force spinning. Um, in the center of the machine, the material is entered, the machine spins and out comes nanofibers. So by controlling the rate at which the machine spins, RPMs, uh, the viscosity of the material, the temperature if it needs to be melted, and the orifice size, that's how we control our process. The advantages then are number one, cost effectiveness, in that our volume is proven. We can produce today on a prototype tool approximately a gram per minute per orifice of material. Um, our costs overall are again about a quarter of what they are uh, with using electrospinning. Uh, don't need to use uh, nitrogen purging or any of the other methodologies with electrospinning. Um, we also uh, can produce uh, any range of materials from polymers, ceramics, metals, conductive polymers, uh, some of which cannot be produced with electrospinning. Uh, we are environmentally friendly in that we uh, use much less amounts of uh, corrosive solvents, and we are safe in that we have uh, no fire hazards or uh, safety problems with the use of the equipment. Uh, the market size, looking at the market, building the market up from the bottom, it's about a $700 million market today. Um, with uh, This is equipment that is targeted both for research applications and for industrial applications, broken down on the chart here, growing to roughly uh, seven uh, to close to a billion dollars uh, within five years. And as applications grow, that rate of growth we expect to see higher. 
the main competition is this electrospinning company called El Marco. It's in the Czech Republic. Uh, originally started out in the semiconductor uh, realm. Um, there are some five or so smaller companies, all of which are doing variants of electrospinning equipment, and then uh, because of dissatisfaction with electrospinning, there are probably a hundred or so methodologies in the research labs, uh, none of which have proven to be uh, production worthy. They produce maybe a gram a month type of uh, volume. Um, our management team is experienced. We have everything from gray hair to bald guys. Um, our CTO is uh, Dr. Karen Lozano. She is the inventor of the technology. Uh, uh, she also heads our uh, technical advisory board. Our financial model is presented here. We have a comprehensive financial model. Be happy to share with potential investors, of course. Uh, we turn cash positive in the third quarter of next year. Finally, uh, in addition to this million and a half from the Emerging Technology Fund, we are seeking a million and a half private investment. We expect to see the cash flow from the ETF money coming in the next uh, three to six months. So thank you very much. Please visit us at booth 411.